everybody, what is up? My name is Colin Rainer, and uh, I just wanted to give you a little tour of my brand new drum set. I've been waiting probably 14 and a half or 15 years to uh, finally get this set up. So let me give you a little tour today. Right now, I'm just sitting in my uh, little mixing room that I'll get you a better view of later, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and look, see how we get our set up. First off, I think it's important to mention that uh, the reason why we actually have this nice new studio now is because we done a renovation on the basement. And uh, of course we got the kids play area and another sitting area and stuff. And I'll show you how that plays into here in a second. There's definitely some big connections between the two. So first off, we're gonna show you the, the studio here. You know, you've probably seen this before in the videos, but we got a custom sign made off Etsy. And there you have it. A couple of these stage lights from Amazon. There we go. So we got them all lit up on the front corners and we got two more of the spotlights to light up the back walls. Trying to zoom out a little bit here, but uh, we added four brand new symbols the other day. We added this Evolution Ride, uh, the Evolution Hats, the Evolution Ozone, and this Evolution uh, Crash right here. Now what that allowed me to do is have double hats and double rides. The double hats, especially in a song like Nobody by Avenged Sevenfold, or Almost Easy um, for the double rides. And then the Ozone allowed me to actually have an Ozone, but at the same time, have my stack as well before I had to uh, I had to choose between one or the other but now I can have both a little splash stack here and a nice little splash there just to add some tasty flavors and of course as you've seen the double bass setup pretty cool floor tom on the left side just like to have it there for some, uh, some big power notes there to they put an emphasis on something so yeah that's the drum setup so here's where we get into the cool part and uh, where the renovation of the house really ties into this whole setup so we have 13 microphones and they all run through there a little black hole in the wall so that goes into a storage room Basically what I had to do is uh, I had to box in my furnace. Um, so I boxed in my furnace and then kind of made it a storage room. It's out of the way and nobody goes in there. So I could put the cords through the wall and let the mess be inside of there. This is basically, this whole section is duct work that we had to cover in. And uh, what I done is I put a pipe right through from my storage room to here. So I needed to do something with the space under the stairs. So I figured what better place to put my, uh, you know, all my mixing equipment, computers and stuff. And again, I was wondering how I was gonna do it, which is why the pipeline idea came through. As I said, the mess has to be somewhere. So when the cords come in there, it is a mess. But once they go up there, through the pipe, it's pretty clean. So let's have a look inside. So we don't have a very big space in here, but as you can see, it's it's perfect. It really is perfect. Um, 
There we see the pipeline that comes through the wall. And all my cables run down there. I've got them fastened on the wall. Run behind the desk and into the Scarlet 18i20 and the Scarlet Octopri. This desk was an old desk I found at another building somewhere. I had 42 inches of space side to side and the desk is 39 inches wide. Uh, so it was a perfect fit. When I got it in here, I realized that the keyboard is perfect for my two audio interfaces. They fit perfectly. Um, so then we got some uh, iLoud uh, micro speakers. Unbelievable speakers. They are ridiculous. I, I can't believe it. We're running with, running with Logic Pro. So yeah. Um, all of my sound runs into here, so nothing has to be by the drums. So now you're probably wondering, um, how do I record all my stuff from over at my drums when the computer and stuff is in here? Logic Pro has a uh, remote app on iPhone or iPad or whatever. So I just download the app and when I'm out of my drums, I can just press record from my drums on my phone, stick it back in my pocket, and away we go. These here are my uh, monitoring head headphones. Um, so again, I got 50 foot cables here that run all the way through along with my my XLR cables and uh, obviously one is for myself to to record and hear what's going on but um, the second one kind of put that in place over here Again, you can see it comes through the wall the uh, second one is for, <laughs> for you know just if there's a company or family over that actually have an interest and want to hear me play a song they can uh, put another head uh, another set of headphones on and uh, I can basically give a live show so that's the reason for that so once we're all done recording uh, just come into the studio here pull the headphone jacks out put the uh, speaker jack in there and then just start playing back and mixing. And uh, I know you won't get to hear the exact quality through this iPhone speaker, but uh, I'll give you a little bit of a sample anyway. Ah, that's that little stack. And that uh, left side floor tom that I was talking about for those big power notes. So yeah, that's basically the runaround. <laughs> My dream setup. I've been uh, I've been waiting to have this for like I said about 15 years now. So it's a really nice, clean setup. The wires are all clean. All said and done, walk out of here. the site. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the little walk around and uh, can't wait to start making some more videos.